always say that. I never say anything I have to. No, I mean, you don't have to say nice things to me. It's a little old-fashioned, considering what we're about to do. What are we about to do? You're walking me home. Mm-hmm. I think you're a little attracted to me. Yeah. And... <laughs> You'll probably want to come upstairs for some coffee. I don't drink coffee. And we'll probably have a drink and talk and get to know each other a little bit better, get comfortable. And then you'll... You'll sleep over. And in the morning, you'll awake. And you'll be distant. And you won't be able to stay for breakfast. Maybe just a cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee. And then we'll exchange phone numbers. And you'll leave. And never call. And I'll go to work and I'll feel so good for the first hour. And then ever so slowly, I'll turn into a piece of dirt. I don't know why I'm putting myself to this. It was really nice to meet you. Night. Night. Okay. Excuse me! Wait! Just... Hey! Just, sorry. Wait, one minute. Hey, excuse me. Please, wait. Wait. No, listen, I'm not feeling very well. Oh, no wonder. We just met, made love, and broke up, all in the space of 30 seconds. And I don't remember having the first kiss, which I think is the best part. Listen, it was so very special to meet you. And it was and for me, too. But I think it's time you should shut up now. Shut up. Please? Uh, yeah. I'm not coming up to your apartment. That was never my intention. Oh, God, you don't want to. Oh, no, I want to. I have a hard-on for you the size of Florida. But I don't want just one night. I have a confession I have to make to you. You're married? No. You're divorced? No. You, you have a disease? No, please stop. I'm in love with you. Not just from tonight. I've known you for a long time. I know that you come out from work at noon every day and you fight your way out that door and then you get pushed back in and three seconds later you come back out again. And I, I walk with you to lunch and I know if it's a good day if you stop and get that romance novel at that bookstore. I know what you order and I know on Wednesdays you go to that Timson parlor and I know that you get a jawbreaker before you go back into work. And I know you hate your job and you don't have many friends and. I know sometimes you feel a little uncoordinated and you don't feel as wonderful as everybody else and feeling as alone and separate as you feel you are and I love you. I love you. <laughs> and I think you're the greatest thing since Spice Racks. And I'd be knocked out several times if I could just have that first kiss. And I won't. I won't be distant. I'll come back in the morning and I'll call you if you let me. But I still don't drink coffee. Thank you.